messages in carrying them around with you, get yourself away, speak this over yourself. I would say if you don't know where else to go, Psalm 37 is a great one to go for because it starts where it says, don't fret because of evil men when they succeed in their ways. They'll get what's coming to them. Dwell with God, delight yourself with God, don't get angry, turn away from wrath. Um, and you can speak all this over yourself. You'll find before, if you just get yourself away and you read halfway through that psalm, it will do a number of things. It will speak to your spirit. It will start to make that spirit man who's vacuum packed for glory start to rise up. You start to side with your spirit and your soul and you, you're starting to get a majority. Two, 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 two to one is a majority, isn't it? If you can get a majority against your body with your spirit and your soul, then you're, you're on your way. So it will start to do that. It will use your mouth and engage your mouth. It's very difficult to be angry and think angry thoughts while you're speaking something else out of your mouth. That's the power of confession. When the Bible talks about, um, what's the word? Meditation. It says, I meditate on your word. One of the meanings of that is to mutter, to literally bring things out loud. I mutter your word. I speak it out loud. Um, so A is for assess. A is for airway, your breathing. B is for Bible. So... Bible, and I suppose B, we can also, well, no, no, let's move on to C. C, I would say, is about confession. Now, you've already started this with Bible. You've already started to, to, um, to confess, if you like, these things over yourself, good things from, say, Psalm 37. Um, I mean, you can take another one. You can take um, 2 Corinthians 5.17. You can start saying, I'm a new creation. Have a confession list. I'm a new creation. The old is gone. Now, I may, my body may still be feeling angry. My soul may still be feeling angry, but this is not who I am. I'm, I'm, a third of me is spirit. A third of me is vacuum packed for glory. Wall to wall, Holy Ghost never gets angry. C is for confession. C is for, um, yeah, come and talk to God. Yeah, get yourself away somewhere. Yeah, um, I want to think of a cool word that starts with C that will mean that. But, uh, but yeah, get into your cave maybe with God. So C is for confession. Get into your cave. Yeah, have a conversation with God. Start to, that's good, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to take credit for that. Um, so C is for conversation. Start talking to God about it. God, help. Help is a good prayer. Nothing wrong with help. That's an excellent prayer. Help. <laughs> I'm getting angry. I don't want to fall down this way. And... Um, but you can also, you know, it's also about sometimes repentance. Oh, that happened again, God. Thank you that you still love me. Thank you that you still accept me. Thank you that you, you believe in me, God. Even if I don't believe in myself, I know you believe in me. Um, so airway and assess. Do you bring technique? Make sure. Maybe you just need to eat something. Maybe you just need a bit more sleep. Maybe you just need to be a little bit cooler. Maybe you just need to take five minutes and just calm down. That can be, you know, maybe you just need to switch off the TV with all this strife and all this stuff going on. Or if you've been watching like a film where people are getting beaten up, but I'm not against watching like stuff. I, I watch stuff and I don't want to get silly with it. But, um, you know, if you're constantly watching strife on TV, you're going to have strife going on in your mind. It's as simple as that. Um, maybe you just need to watch that. So assess, assess your environment, assess your input. B is for Bible. Have, have something there that you can carry it around in your pocket. Write it down and carry it around uh, if you can't remember it. Go through it and, uh, you know, have that. And C, get into your cave with God. Have a conversation with God. Start to confess things over yourself. Yeah? And that's it, really. That's a good thing to do. If you can do that A, B, C, yeah, and especially simple things like, like have breakfast and stuff like that, it's going to help a lot. If you're with someone who's angry and you're trying to help them, remember, get them before they get angry. If you can see them getting wound up, um, see if you can get in there and give them some sort of gift of, um, you know, sometimes my wife, just like I say, just gives me a sandwich or something like that or stuffs a chocolate bar in my mouth. Uh, that's, that's often enough to stop us having an argument. Um, she like, brings me a little gift and she turns away my wrath. And this happened brilliantly in... Um, the story of David, um, David had been really looking after uh, this guy, uh, I think Nabal's um, flocks, and he'd been spending a lot of time, all his men looking after them, and then he asked this guy for some help, and the guy just blew him off. And David was a, David was a violent man, 
And he was a violent, but you didn't want to get on the wrong side of this guy. And he was like, right, everyone, get your swords. We're going to kill everyone there. I'm not having this. And he was on his way down. And this guy's wife heard about it and met him with loads of food and stuff like that and said, look, don't put this blood on yourself. Don't bring this guilt on yourself of killing everyone. You're right. This guy's an idiot. But why should you like, have to go through the rest of your life knowing what you did today? And David's like, if you hadn't spoken to me, I would have killed everyone there. And this woman knew how to bring a gift at the right time. If you're dealing with someone who's angry, bring, if you can do something, you can seek God. What should I do right now, God? What's going to help them to, to calm down? It might, the gift you give them might be space. You might just say, I'm going to leave you for 10 minutes. Just have your time with God. I realise you just don't want to be around me at the moment. That's all right. That might be your gift. Your gift might be that you communicate respect. Your gift might be, depends on the person. Everyone's different. Sometimes you can just say something. If, that's their, if their love language is, is, is words and you say, man, I just want you to just know you're awesome. You're like, I'm so blessed. To, you're so capable. You're so, you know, um, that might be it. Might be, but, but ask God to show you what that gift will be. And remember always, don't let yourself be walked over because that's just as much pride. And only by pride comes strife. Maybe it's you letting yourself be walked over that's causing that person to, I don't know, I'm not saying it is. I'm just throwing that out there. Please don't read too much into that comment. So it's about your body, your soul, and your spirit. Your spirit is saved. Your body is certainly not. And, it's, and, and our salvation, working out our salvation in fear and trembling is about learning to convert our body and our soul to what our spirit's already experiencing. Um, you may have a stronghold of anger, it's dealable with. There's a righteous use of anger, um, get angry with the devil, that's fine. Um, don't waste too much time talking to him because he likes that. Um, he likes to draw your eye line, but he's, he's defeated. Just tell, talk to him about Jesus. Don't put up with him putting his kingdom in your life. And remember your ABC. A is for, what do we say? A is for airway. Remember the sort of some, uh, you, you, you know, breathe, 7 Eleven breathing technique. A is for assess what's happening in my environment. What am I watching? What am I letting into my soul? What am I listening to? What are people saying to me? I would say as well, the Bible says that every, um, oh, what is it? I think every, every unrighteous word you will condemn, it says. If someone's saying something to you that's just not true, if they're saying, look, you're crap, you'll never amount to anything, or this is going to go wrong in your life, or you'll always, you've always struggled with anger and you always will, immediately counter it. Don't wait to go home and counter it. Immediately you can say, you know, they used to be right about me, but actually I'm changing. Even if you can't see it, you'll find that that will really help when you start to talk about yourself in a different way, start to say things to people and, and yourself. You can look at yourself in the mirror every day and say, I am not a person that struggles with anger. I'm in control of my emotions, even if it's not manifesting yet. Find the places in the Bible where that's said. Um, the Bible says that we haven't received a spirit of timidity. We've received a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. So that's good. You need to have a capacity to get angry with the devil, but you need to not let anger run you. Okay, and I think I'm going to stop there and just see if anyone's got any um, 